Hey up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. Today is a special video, I'm very very excited because we are at Donington Park. We are here to take the M240i around the track specifically to test out the Goodyear Supersport tyres. The Eagle F1 Supersport is a relatively new offering from Goodyear. It's a race inspired tyre for superior grip and handling on the roads and it's aimed at the enthusiast markets, people just like me and you. It features such things as dual plus technology, power line covers, a power shoulder and a high force construction. All fantastic words when considering a tyre, but in layman's terms, it offers specialised power zones for high wet and dry performance, excellent footprint preservation for high speed stability and improved handling and driving stability due to the construction of the tyre. Now I've been ever so lucky to, to partner up with Goodyear for this year to test out and give some information and reviews on their Supersport tyres. So a lot of you guys know that the 240i comes with Michelin Supersports from Factory. This car when I bought it back in December had Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on. They were 225 40 18s on the front and 245 35 18s on the rear. Uh, last month roughly we changed over the tyres where on the Super Sport, uh, not the Cups, just the Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sport tyres, 235 40 18s on the front and 255 35 18s on the rear. Now we've been out and done the sliding laps all well and good it's a lovely day here at Donington it's about 22 and a half degrees it is supposed to stay relatively cloudy um, and the temperature is supposed to drop a little bit for those of you that don't know what time I'm doing this yesterday was the hottest day in the UK ever so there's still some residual heat there um, I am gonna have to go around the track with the aircon on or else I will just it's ridiculous it's 20 to 10 in the morning um, Philip from Pitbox 91 is here to be able to assist with filming and to help with the tyre temperatures, the tyre pressures, so on and so forth. Uh, so today should be a very interesting day. Uh, the M240i, uh, there'll be a video sort of summarising what I've done to the car, but we've got Bilstein B14s, we've got Millway adjustable camber plates, we're now stage 2 plus, so we've got the Puma Speed sports cat, we have the M Performance rest of the exhaust, um, we are MG Flasher Stage 2 Plus on the 99 run file. Um, we've got a fast road alignment from Bram Racing. If anyone's looking for an alignment, there you guys. Um, we're running about a degree and a half of camber in each corner, um, which surprisingly feels really, really, really good on track. Uh, we're also here with Senior Performance, who's just there. Uh, you can't quite see him, he's just out of shot. A lot of you guys in the m Light world know senior performance is just servicing quaff diffs, fitting of parts, down pipes, tuning, all of that sort of stuff. Um, he's actually running the Pro Sport, I think the Pro Sport wheels, uh, Pro Track wheels rather, with Nankang AR1s. Now we don't, still don't have a, an LSD in this car, so it should be a pretty interesting day just to see how it performs. But yeah, we'll do a couple of laps. You might not hear me speak, so I'm gonna be concentrating Quite a lot today, understandably. There are some ridiculous cars out on track. There are Caterhams, I think there's an Ultima here, there's a couple of Radicals, there's a GT3 RS Wysak, there's a Mark V Fiesta with a 360 brake horsepower 1.6 Eco boost in there. So there's some interesting cars on track and I'll probably be holding up a lot of people. Without further ado, let's get into some track action. So we're just going up to the pit lane now. We'll have a few warm up laps just while we get the tyres hot. Um, and then from that point, we can then come in, reset the TPMS, and hopefully get a couple of good laps in. So we'll squeeze through here. A couple of BMW race cars in front of us, which you will be able to see. These things are ridiculously quick. Um, there's a lot of fast cars here today as well. Let's get ready to show the wristband. Right, and on the track we go. Let's make sure there's nothing coming. I might be a little bit quiet because I am trying to concentrate here and not bin the car. So we're just going to let this cater and pass. On the Astro VXR.
we are doing the GP circuit, most people do the national, so the GP circuit has probably four or five more corners than the usual track. And it's a nice little technical part to be fair, there's a little chicane and a bit of a hairpin towards the back end. I'm just going to let this MX-5 through and a couple of Celica race cars just while we're on the warm-up. So this is where most people would go to the bus stop, we're now going left. Seems a very, very similar corner, just in an opposite direction. Just over some of the curbs here. These Goodyear tyres do offer a lot of confidence on the track. You know, the first couple of corners down the hill, the curves can be quite daunting, but I can pretty much keep it relatively flat out. Onto the main straight. Moving over left just for first corner got another catering behind us they seem to be absolutely everywhere today RS, there's a lot of things coming for me now. chance to speak with Pitbox91 um, about the Goodyear tyres, how they're performing. In essence they're giving me a lot of confidence through the Craner curves all the way up to pretty much the point of where the GP circuit starts or the extra part of the GP circuit is. Um, but even in the tight twisty corners you can feel the front end coming in nicely and there's not a lot of grip loss in the back um, which is quite surprising given you know, this is going to be 470 horsepower and 600 and something new to me, it's 40, 50, something like that. Um, I'm going to go out for a couple more sessions and then I'm going to have a sit down with Philip um, and give him a bit of a review on the tyres. Of course, you'll find, I'm going to put links down to these tyres in the description where you can buy them, what size are for, the difference between Supersport, Supersport R, Supersport RS. So these start in an, in an 18 inch uh, diameter. So unfortunately, if you're in 17 inch or below, there's not really any any of these tyres for you. But uh, the Super Sport and the Super Sport R are really designed to be, well, the Super Sport is 80% road, 20% track. And the Super Sport R is 50% road, 50% track. Um, it's been a good experience. I've really enjoyed it. Some mental cars here today. We were just speaking to the owner of one of the Radical SR3s and it's doing, on a good lap, on a completely clean lap, it'll do one minute 30 around here. I'm currently doing about two minutes two i think based on the gopro footage that i've been looking at today but yeah it's been good so i'm just letting the car warm up i'm gonna to have to do the similar thing as before go out for a couple of laps come back reset the tpms go back out um and then we can have some fun do that a couple more times and i think it's about time for home we've also got another video coming where we're going over to the evo triangle um similar to this in terms of the tire review but on a road surface as opposed to a track surface so stay tuned for that Got a, bit of, a couple of days in North Wales, which will be interesting. And then I'll be filming a complete uh, review on this car now. I've had it eight months now. Um, you guys haven't seen a lot of the stuff that's gone into it. So we'll go through all of that, what my plans are, all the usual stuff. And hopefully we'll get back onto a bit more of a, a normal video schedule. Uh, but for now, helmet on. We're going to make sure everything's secured and, and as it should be. Um, then we get back on the track.
Okay, so we're making our way back down to the pit lane for the last of maybe one or two sessions, depending on how I feel. Cause I aren't feeling great today, which is uh, not helping. So yeah, it's been a really good day. The weather's actually kept up to a, a decent amount. It's not rained, it's not been overly sunny. Uh, it's a bit windy now, but can't really complain at that. So through we go. And into the queue behind an RS5, a Clio 200, some mental looking race car, and the Exige Cup car that I've seen a few times now. Um, bit of a monster. Here we go out for a couple of warm up laps. Screaming GT3 RS there. Get the tyres nice and warm and then we can do the TPMS thing again. We move out of the way of this Celica in just a second. There's a Fiesta ST powered Mark V here. This will be interesting because it's got a big Garrett turbo on there, but it's quick. He's parked next to us, so let's see what we can do. Left me. Sorry if you can hear the aircon, but it's very, very, very warm in here.
them all up and then the tyres should be ready to uh, to reset. Mercedes letting us through. So it's approximately half past three in the afternoon now. Um, fortunately, there was a red flag on the last time we went out. Um, just wanted to round off the video here with a, a full and proper review of the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport. So coming into today, um, I'd only really had uh, a, a good amount of experience with Michelin tyres, Pilot Supersports, Pilot Sport 4s. So, Driving a car fast with a different tyre on can be a little bit daunting because you don't know where the, the grip limit is, you don't know how the tyres are going to react when they get warm, you don't know what grip level is going to be. There's all these sort of things that you have to take into consideration now. I've been driving on these tyres for approximately a month now and that's been mostly road driving. Um, one thing that I will say is that the Eagle F1 Super Sport definitely for me personally outperforms Michelin Pilot Sport 4 and 4S. Um, Super Sports are below them so take that what you will in my opinion. Um, the Eagle F1 Super Sports definitely promote a lot of confidence throughout the corners due to the harder sidewalls um, whereas the Michelins may start to lean a little bit that's, that's my personal experience. Um, and we're talking same tyre pressures roughly same temperatures same driving temperatures all that sort of stuff but the good years definitely do promote a lot of uh, a lot of confidence so through the corner curves it can be a little bit iffy at the best of times the radical guy says he can just go flat out through there at 120 you know we might be doing 85 90 mile an hour something like that a couple of corners after that point we start going back up the hill really really good grip levels really good amount of confidence given um, throughout the day I've just got faster and faster and faster through that specific portion of the track and never once has it sort of occurred to me to think oh yeah the summer these tyres don't like. The Eagle F1 Super Sports are happy enough commuting to and from work, happy enough going to the shops, happy enough going here going there um, but they're also happy on track you know I don't think unless you're a professional racing driver you're not really gonna go okay well these tyres aren't suitable for the job I'll go for some I don't know Super Sport R, some AR, Nankan AR1s, some Pilots, uh, Pilot Cup 2s or anything like that um, but I'm genuinely very impressed and I'm very impressed with the hospitality today from Goodyear and Pitbox 91 um, it's really good to sort of get to chat with the guys find out more about what's going on with them as, as a wider sketch as well so I'm possibly going to go out once more um, I'm Again, not feeling great. I'm very, very tired. I was up at half past four this morning. Um, so I'm just weighing up the options. Whether I spectate for a little bit longer and go and see senior performers go on track, or whether I go on track for a couple of laps myself, I don't know yet. But I am going to wrap this video up here. So thank you very much for watching. Um, new bit of content for me. So I've, you know, you guys who have followed my channel for a while know that I haven't done any videos on track so if there's anything you feel you would like to see in the future anything you feel would improve 
these videos in the future let me know whether it's paddock walk um, you know for example there's just there there is a GT3 RS YSAC um, <clears throat> which is not something you see every day of the week but yeah let me know what you think follow me on social media you'll find them down there uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next video where we go to the Evo Triangle where we do a bit of a re an on-road review of these tyres um, and you can find all the links down in the description but for now I'll say goodbye.